Hello, Sour Patch family, and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're looking at my Target haul. I did two deals at Target. This one here will be one deal. This one here will be the second deal. If you are new to my channel, welcome. It's wonderful to have you. Please make sure you leave a comment down below so I know you're here. Don't forget to like this video and smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to also turn your notifications to all so you don't miss any of the future videos. If you are not a new subscriber, but part of the Sour Patch family already, welcome back. I hope everybody's had a sweet weekend. So let's get right into it. The first deal I have for you guys is this People magazine. In store, it is $5.99. There is a 15% target circle. You wanna clip that. Brings it down to $5.09. I got back $3 from Swagbucks. I got back $1.46 between Scan Kicks in store and Redemption, making that People Magazine just 63 cents. Don't forget, guys, when you're in the store to open that Shopkick app and scan these items. Sometimes I do forget, sometimes I don't. Today was one of the better days. So, on this People Magazine, though, with swag bucks, it says when you buy two, you'll get back $7. So I think it's a rolling rebate. Also, after I got home, I noticed that Fetch had a rebate as well. It said $4 back when you get four of them. I don't know if I will be able to do all four before the rebate disappears, but if so, that would be pretty great. So the next deal is on the Colgate. These are the new Colgate Keep. It is a uh, detachable head toothbrush. It's supposed to help us reduce our waste. So it comes with the handle and then two refills. Even the box actually looks like it's been recycled and that's great, honestly. So anyway, in Target, each one of these are $9.99. There is a 15% off the Colgate Keep as a Target coupon. Then there's also a 10% off Target coupon. And then finally, a $5 off one Target Circle coupon. You'll want to clip all of those. So three of these brings us to $29.97. Then um, I'm not sure how they did the discount because each one was reduced by $1.96. So it took me down to 1909 after the percent off and the $5 target circle. So 1909 out of pocket. I bought it gives you back $3 per toothbrush. That's pretty sweet. And then I had a 10 cent any toothbrush with Ibotta as well, bringing the total down to $9.99, which is really great considering one of them was $9.99 in store. But then Target gave me a $5 gift card, bringing the total down to $4.99 for all three. Wonderful deal. And I don't think I made a video, but a couple weeks ago, there was a tremendously wonderful coupon at Walgreens, a digital one, for essentially I got three packages of just the replacement heads completely free. So now I have the handles to go with them. Whoop, whoop. All right, guys, so the last deal in this transaction was the Friskies Little Gravies. There is a buy one, get one free manufacturer coupon, I believe, from the April 11th newspaper. So these are 99 cents in store. Two of them will bring you to $1.98. Using that 99 cent coupon brings you down to 99 cents. But wait, there's more. When you're in store, open up your Shopkick app. If it's not already open, it should be actually. And then scan it. Between scan kicks and buy kicks, you'll get back an additional 68 cents. That makes it 25 cents for both or just 12 cents a piece. That's a great deal to at least try something new. Uh, my baby boy, Charlie, um, well, he's kind of picky with his food and we're trying to figure out really what his favorite thing is so that we can make it happen for him. So, okay, people, my subtotal in store was 25.21. I always use my Target red card. If you don't already have one, 
sign up for one. It's free. All they do is debit your bank account or whatever account you um, attach it to, and then they give you 5% off every purchase. Isn't that wonderful? So 25, 21 in store. I saved $1.16 with my red card. I got back $3 with swag bucks. Then I bought it gave me back $9.30. I think there was actually a 10 cent any wet cat food and then a 10 cent something else. So $9.30 from them, $2.14 in total from Shopkick brings my total all the way down to $9.91 out of pocket. Well, after rebates. And then if you deduct that $5 gift card, the transaction ended up being $4.91 for everything or just 81 cents an item. I mean, $4.91 is tremendous. That's less than just this magazine all by itself. So I'm gonna quit hyping you guys up and move on to the next transaction. So Target had a deal this week, spend 40, get a $10 gift card. And y'all know me, I rolled that $5 gift card from the first transaction right into the second one to save myself uh, money out of pocket. So bonus, 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 they are also doing a 20% off any laundry item. So like the Clorox, the spray and wash, the almighty, which a little hard to see here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, all of that was an additional 20% off. So the buy, the boost, it is $1.99. And Ibotta has been giving us $1.99 back, making it completely free. This is the first time I've actually found it in store. I've looked at Publix, Walmart, Walgreens. So I found it at Target. And I'm pretty excited to try this. It is Tangerine Citrus plant-based energy and then it says as much caffeine as a cup of coffee so that's pretty cool completely free even better right all right so now on to the spend 40 get 10 deal the original deal I had lined up fell apart as soon as I got to the store because I was the deal I had come up with was on the nine elements um, bathroom cleaner and then multi-purpose cleaner and it would have made my my deal a money maker unfortunately my store was all out of <laughs> all of it <laughs> so I couldn't even do that deal and instead of uh, you know going home I said well I actually need trash bags and spray and wash so let me make it happen anyway so let's get into it guys the all-in store all small and mighty was four fifty nine, minus a twenty percent Target Circle um, laundry deal, brought it down to three dollars and eighty nine cents, and I had a dollar manufacturer coupon, taking it down to two dollars and eighty nine cents. That says fifty three loads, um, and the way, the way my teenager uses soap, it'll be like four loads, but <laughs> maybe I'll just hide it and uh, use it for myself. Okay, next is a Glad uh, Force Flex Plus. You have to get the one with Clorox in order to get the rebates that I got. So, uh, Glad Trash Bags. I feel like I'm missing a rebate, and now I'm going to have to go back and check Swag Bucks, because I bet you that's where it's missing from. Anyway, sorry guys. $10.99 for this. I had a dollar manufacturer coupon that I had printed from coupons.com this morning. Um, they release new coupons every Sunday, and sometimes they are good for up to three weeks. So if you think you might need it or get a deal out of it in three weeks, print the coupon anyway. Um, I print mine from swagbucks.com. That takes me over to coupons.com where I get paid to print. I think it's a dollar per coupon printed and then between 25 cents to 50 cents for every one I redeem. So might as well make money printing those coupons. All right, $10.99 minus a dollar manufacturer coupon. And then in Shopkick, there was a little deal. And between Scan Kicks and Buy Kicks, I got an additional dollar six off. So that brings my total down to uh, $8.93. Again, I needed it. So 
if I had had the nine elements, I wouldn't have gotten it and I would have had a much better deal. But moving on. The Clorox, um, you can also do this deal at Walmart. This is the 40 fluid ounce and it has to be the splashless. So in Target, this was $2.49. Buying two of them brings you to $4.98. Taking off 20% for the laundry care deal brought it down to $4.22. And I received $4 back from Swag Bucks, making it $0.22 cents for both of them or $0.11 cents a piece. Pretty sweet, guys. That's one you could do all by yourself <clears throat> without having to do the huge deal, right? Okay. The next thing is the Airwick, I'm um, sorry, the Renewsit Combs. These are $2.69 in a store. I did have a dollar manufacturer coupon and I bought it, gave me back a dollar, making it just $0.69. Cents. And there is a Renews It um, deal where if you buy two different Renews It products, you get an iPod a bonus. So the next time I go in, I'll grab another one and get that bonus. Then we have the Febreze car clips. Um, I bought two of these. These are $2.99 in the store. Buying two makes it $5.98. There was a buy one, get one free coupon that came out in the May PNG, which, as you know, I buy my coupons from BQ Savings. We receive them early, and that allows me to shop early. So with that buy one, get one free coupon, it should have taken off $2.99, but it actually only took off $2.17, so I'm missing $0.80. Cents. I'm gonna head back and uh, see about getting that from maybe customer service or figure out why they're doing that. Um, couponing with Kayla had the same issue the last couple of times, so I kind of knew it. I kind of knew it might happen. Um, but anyway, five ninety eight minus the two seventeen brought me to three dollars and eighty one cents. There were no other rebates to use or apps or any like that, anything like that. Then we have these Airwick. These are the essential oils, but they're like, oh, okay, limited edition. They only had two different scents in the store, and that's fine because um, this one smells wonderful. But two of them, they're $4.99 each. Two of them is $9.98. I used two of the $1.50 manufacturer coupons, and I believe those were from the 418 newspaper. That brought my total down to $6.98. But wait, there's more. I bought it, gave me back $1.50. I was hoping it'd be $1.50 per, but it wasn't, just $1.50. Shopkick, between scan kicks and buy kicks, gave me 88 cents. And Swag Bucks gave me $4. The only way to do this deal is to get the limited edition ones. Um, Swag Bucks will not give you the $4 on the regular ones. And I don't think Shopkick will either. So, originally that was $9.98. Brought me all the way down with those rebates to $0.88 cents for both or $0.44 cents each. That's fantastic. I'm going to look and peep and see when I can do this deal again because sometimes with swag bucks you can only do the deal once a month and sometimes it's once a week just read the rules and follow them and you're all good so last but not least <laughs> is the spray and wash I did not have a coupon I did not have a rebate but I actually needed that product and it was part of the spend 40 get ten dollars so in store the spray and wash was two dollars and eighty nine cents minus a 20% off laundry target circle offer, brought it down to $2.45. So let's back it up here, guys. All right, my subtotal was $34.02. Again, I used my red card. Um, I got $1.56 back from the red card. I am counting the 80 cents missing. I got back $4.49 from Ibotta, $1.94 from Shopkick, and a huge $8 from Swagbucks. 
that brings my total for all these uh, household laundry items, small good items, whatever, to seventeen oh five. Now remember, you get a $10 gift card, so then you're actually down to $7.15 for all of those items, or just 65 cents each. And yes, like I said, I rolled that $5 gift card from the first transaction to lower my out-of-pocket cost here. That's not the subtotal I gave you though, so. Anyway, now I still have a $10 gift card to go use next time. Um, and actually, I should expand on that. So when I'm giving you guys the deals, I don't include any gift cards that I use to pay for the products because that's not fair. You probably don't have a gift card. I also don't use any item that you wouldn't already have, like the gift cards. So anyway, that's my haul. I feel like I did really well. I know it wasn't a moneymaker or a freebie, but I feel like it went well. Um, none of the coupons beeped. All of the, all of the rebates attached. So it was like problem free. Um, thank you guys for watching. And hopefully I make it to Walgreens and CVS this week. Um, I appreciate you guys. I hope that if anything, you guys go out and get the Clorox Steel, even if you do it all by itself. Um, don't forget to pick up your free Buy Boost before it's gone. And at the end of this video, I'm going to include additional screenshots of free offers that I found on my Ibotta app. They are free after offer, meaning you pay for it in the store and they give you the money back when you submit your receipt but my Target didn't have them, so I didn't buy them. And I just wanna include them in case you haven't already found them in your Ibotta. Please remember that rebates vary from accounts to accounts. So that goes with Shopkick, Swagbucks, Target Circle, I think, Walgreens, CVS, every app has different rebates for different accounts. I hope that you guys are able to grab some inspiration from this video, and I appreciate you guys very much. Until next time, happy couponing. Bye for now.